We finally got half a year of film on Travis Etienne after he missed his rookie year with the Liz Frank injury. That's a scary injury for any athlete, nevertheless an NFL running back that has to use their feet to cut and plant all the time. So to have him out there looking healthy and explosive again is especially encouraging for Jaguars fans. They've been slowly ramping up his workload as the season goes on. They clearly saw the film and decided he was the guy from here on out and traded James Robinson as well. So now it's clearly his backfield. You see that the straight line speed is there. He's running away from linebackers. He does get fetched on this play, but he does have home run speed to take it to the house when necessary. And it doesn't take him a lot of runway to get there as well. He has good acceleration on top of the speed. This creates the explosion and the burst that really makes him an exciting player and fun to watch for everyone, not just Jaguars fans. You couple that with functional strength, and even when you do get a hand on him and, and are able to chase him down, he's tough to bring down and he's able to fight through arm tackles. He has especially strong legs as well, and they're always churning. He uses them to explode out of cuts and fight for extra yards. He seems to have that extra want to that great backs have to get those extra yards. And when you apply that consistently over time, it leads to the big chunk plays that an offense needs. I'm an especially big fan of his spin move. I like the way he leans on the defender and then rolls off of them to disorient them. Combine that with a strong sense of direction and a propensity for finding the hole and making right cuts and taking good angles. And you've got a complete running back with Travis Etienne because he's also a fluid catcher of the football out of the backfield. So you can pretty much do whatever you need to do as an offense with Travis back there. Not to mention they've got all this built-in chemistry for, with him and Trevor from their time at Clemson. And I think this is a great situation for both of them going forward to have each other. So the sky's the limit for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I hope that Travis is able to keep this momentum going because he's really shown me something with his coaching film so far. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and listen to the podcast wherever you find your podcasts.